All right, guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be going to the moon. So I'll take you through each and every step. Um, I'm only going to fast forward the stuff that's boring. Um, hopefully not too much. Let's go to the moon. In this case, come on. All right, so let's start off with the basics. This little guy, I'm going to go from top to bottom. Hopefully. All right. You want a heat shield and you want a parachute, obviously, because you need to come back into Earth's orbit. Then we're wanting a rocket engine. And we want a rocket. That sounds pretty good. Cool. That's that. Start working on all the stages. Structure there. I did forget to add that. And we can add some thrusters. Always a good idea. Some wheel, some something to land on. So we're currently sitting on three and a half thousand meters per second with a weight thrust to weight ratio of one. So that is insufficient, probably a bit inefficient. Anyways, um, let's get some of these. Swap this out for this bad boy. And the really, really cool thing here is if you do, it's called like asparagus staging. So, what happens is once this rocket is empty, only then will this rocket be used. So, this engine, this engine uses these rockets so these ones fall off first and then you have a main fuselage that's still full and that is fantastic because that's really what you want hello all right let's get some solid rockets on there about it let's give it a try you'll learn very quickly in ksp that it's um a trial and error sort of thing you try a million times to do something and it just doesn't work out so these are your rcs thrusters the thrusters at the top here and then this is just our guy's ability to keep the ship straight so we full throttled and we're quite happy with this okay. So my weight of thrust is 2.3, it's quite high. We wanted to keep our um, G's below 4, so when we get there we can throttle down. You'll see that as my weight, my thrust to weight ratio increases, and sometimes my delta V increases or decreases because the higher I get, the less gravity I have, and therefore have to use less fuel. So it's fantastic. See as I'm throttling down, 
we're still going straight we'll go straight until we leave the middle atmosphere and I can throttle all the way down and I'm still powering you push M you can kind of aim for a apoapsis of about 120,000 100, 110, 120, boom, cool, these rockets are empty, let's hit space bar, cheers, then you can tilt over to 90 degrees, and that's where we go, cool, and you see now we have a pretty much a full tank, which is fantastic. All right, so oh, I did that very quickly without explaining. If you right click, left click, and you add a, a maneuver, putting it on the apoapsis gives you the best ability. Come here. So if you pull or drag this, it adds velocity. And as you can see, if you double click on the earth, we want to orbit the earth what's going on here to refocus on your ship you just hit the button left of number one I was accelerating for some silly reason there we go so now you see we're going to be orbiting focus back on the vessel with the button next to number one and then you'll see here that it tells us how, how many like meters per second we're going to need to do this maneuver, how long until the node, so the, the point in which we have the maneuver, and then how long we're going to burn for. Uh, and then on the left here, you can just click on maneuver, and you'll see that the ship will move so that you're pointing in the correct direction for the maneuver, something you need to do before you get there. Then you can fast forward time so that you're so it's kind of like it says like 49 or like 50 second burn so you want to start your burn halfway for the duration so that's like 25 seconds cool let's do it while that's happening you can scroll out and find the moon you can select as target and then you can take your control. Oh, yeah. Hey, this is misbehaving. Probably because you passed it. Yeah. As I thought. Um, no. You can't. You can't change a maneuver if you've driven past the maneuver. So this dot and this dot, this is where I'm going to be, that's where the moon's going to be. There we go. You can put your mouse over here, it says the moon encounter and then the moon escape. Cool, so we're going to select our maneuver, our maneuver passed us three seconds ago or 15 seconds ago but i'm gonna burn anyway because whatever <coughs> oh staging ran out that's fine and that's pretty much how it works um, when it's <coughs> my goodness when the planet or moon that you're trying to get to is not super far away you don't have to be like specific, like perfectly on target because you can always just correct there we go and we are going to meet the moon and speed up good time to auto save and here we are so what do you want to do here this might seem horribly confusing, but at this point, I'm going to join back onto the orbit of Kogan. I'm going to sneeze. 
<coughs> Bless me. And so, uh, maybe another one, not sure. Anyway, so you want to add a maneuver onto the periapsis and you want to reverse thrust and you'll see what happens. I'm just dragging this slowly. Is it really when create an orbit around the moon? If you click past your maneuver and you just click ne warp to next maneuver, it's kind of the safest way to get to wherever you want to go. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to remember hit the maneuver button so we move towards the maneuver or the, the direction of the maneuver. Cool, so the maneuver is in one minute and it's going to take a 21 second burn. That's fine, so we can get to like 10 seconds away. There we go, cool, burn. And if you look here, watch and we'll just see. So we're like halfway through our thrust, or maneuver thrust, you see here, and it joins around and it connects. And now we are in the orbit of the moon. Fantastic. Another note is that you want to land on the light side of the moon. Land in the light. Move towards the light. It's much easier. So if you make another maneuver on the, on the dark side of the moon, and you pull away, so you decrease your thrust. Kind of want to get this to like, yeah, that's good. Five, five, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Cool, so we want to warp. Connect that console button, the thing next to the one, whatever it's called. It always just reminds me of computer games you used to hit the console and type in like, bind this and do that. So it's a five second burn. Mm, it probably hits five seconds. Cool. And burn. Oh, I'm pointing in the wrong direction. Crap. What did that do? Oh, you see my trajectory is going to leave the planet. My goodness gracious, these rockets are strong. Be careful, people. Be careful. So you can slow it down and you can control very specifically how far you want to go. Five is nice. Wait, you can just close that. There we go. It's quite tight. Let's see what happens. We can save it. It's fine. Let's retrograde. We can aim behind us and let's move in. The game will pause when you're too close. Cool, we're under 10,000 meters. We're going to remember click on, you see the difference there is like massive. So what you can do is you can hit retrograde and you're gonna hit burners. What this does, I'll show you here, is that it brings our entire orbit down to where we are. And what this does is it slows us down in the perfect direction because it's pointing backwards. So that would be pro prograde is forwards and retrograde is backwards. So we're traveling at like 200 meters per second. We still have way enough thrust. Haven't even jumped into this stage yet. So I don't mind wasting. So you can G for gears, U for lights. And here we go. Can't really fast forward anything, but as you can see, our orbit has done that. I don't want to crash. Yeah, that's our orbit. All right, so we're so the shucks. I swear it wasn't me. You know? We we learn from our failures. I was like, oh shucks, I'm gonna have to re I'm gonna have to re-record this. But actually yeah.
tell it's not true. We learn from our failures. I was not focused enough, I was not slowing down enough, and that was my fault. I was doing the right stuff, I just had too much momentum. Cool, so we're on C, we're going facing retrograde surface. And we have more than enough fuel, I haven't even used this stage yet. Once I get like super close to the surface, I'll drop this. Because I obviously have no landing on that. Alrighty, so we can start what's called a slow burn again. <coughs> anyway, that's embarrassing, but that's how the game works. And so we're about to couple of meters away see and if you just leave it on prograde it just keeps your vessel perfectly straight up it takes away all the concern and the worry oh down it affords sometimes if you go too fast it'll turn off this um, don't do them like that because I started going forwards Turn off that gimbal. Um, I'm gonna hit spacebar. And that is not how you do it. But anyway, so we can jump him out. We can fly around. If you hit the ground too hard, it's gonna splat. Just be careful. Now. Cool. Let's get back to Turban. So how you do that? You do full throttle and you put it on 90. Always just look at the ball. Don't look at the spacecraft. If you look at the spacecraft, you get very confused. There's lights. We turn off our RCS thrusters. And all you do is you just continue to burn. Make sure there's no mountains. You want it to get speed. And you'll see that, and you'll see that our orbit will increase until it joins Kerbin's orbit. There we go. And stop. Didn't even use a minute ago. Right. There, I'm going to join Kerbin's orbit. Thank you, Moon. It's been a pleasure. Cool. Another maneuver. I have found that you want to get. 10,000 meters above the atmosphere and then you get a really good entry. It's like a 40 degree entry, but every time if you aim for 10,000 meters, so it's 10 kilometers above the atmosphere, you always get a good entry, which is fantastic. But I just want to point out that I also want to land during the day 
But do you notice here, and this is an important pointer, that from your periapsis, I only need that much fuel to get to where I want to go. If I bring it to the upper apsis, you see how I'm going to land in the planet, which is too much of a degree I'll die in the atmosphere. So if I want to do it from here, I'm going to have to add, oh, I'm going to take away. So our burn became more expensive, but I have enough to do it. So that's okay. I'd rather. We can. Cool. So let's walk to the moon. Remember, click maneuvers direction. Maneuvers in one minute. Cool. Let's burn. So now what you can do is you can just put your mouse here, bring it in, 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 bring it in. Ah, went a little bit far. So what you can do is you can just point prograde, which makes your orbit bigger, and you can just increase a little bit. Cool. That's perfectly fine. We still have some nice fuel. Great place to save in case I mess something up. Which probably will happen. Right, so we need to drop this. We need to point retrograde. You can turn all that off because the vessel should should automatically point where it should be going. That's the point of this. This then is able to take a certain amount of damage. As you can see, everything behind us just exploded. And this is us going into the atmosphere. So if your angle is too low or too high, uh, you burn up in the atmosphere. You need to hit it at like a 40 degree angle, which I find works really well if you're 10 to 12 um, thousand meters. Remember here, sea or mountain. Mountain is just more reliable. You see here that my parachute is not available, and that now it's available. My speed is still dropping. So I'm slowing down, I'm slowing down. All right, so I'm gonna hit my parachute. And then it'll drag on like that till I get to 10,000 meters because, well, 1,000 meters because that's what it's been set to. Let's not cut the parachute. Slow it down a bit. You'd, you don't really want to fast forward because it like messes up some of the physics sometimes and the ship can rip apart. Alrighty. Let's get down. You, you kind of want to not hit the ground at more than like six meters per second. If we're going more than six meters per second, stuff breaks, things explode. Um, so let's say you bring more stuff down to Kerbin, like when you're doing the research and you're wanting to bring it back to the earth, you need more parachutes. And that is it. We are back. Hey. So you can come out here, you can plant a flag on Kerbin because that's just much better than putting it on the moon. And I think we call this not the moon. Agreed. All right, then when you're done, you can just grab on and recover the vessel. Cool guys, hope that was fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much how 
KSP works, the, the basics of maneuvering and going around. And we kept Jada Diet, which I am very proud of. I have a huh, warp to next morning. I have no idea. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that. Please subscribe if you have more questions or whatever the case is. Drop them at the bottom. I'm not a professional, but I am definitely trying to learn more. And if you were interested, can I get one? Um, you might have heard like a challenge that's happening in KSP. And so what they're trying to do is they're trying to fly underneath there. So they fly a jet under there and then come back up and swing back up. That is the challenge. I was actually thinking the other day that we should try and like land something on somewhere or I don't know, do something else crazy. It must be something else that we can fly through or in. Anyway, you guys, hope you enjoyed this and yeah. I'll hopefully make more videos like this. Let me know what you'd like to see. Bye for now.